Oh, we're just circulating CO2 now. Fuck. Because these are filled. We're circulating CO2 through our mechanical filters. Yeah, that's a bit of a waste of power. So when they're cramped, their metabolism is fucked, isn't it? I know, it's reproduction's fucked. Which is the one that... Why can you... How are you hungry? How can you possibly be hungry? It's full of food. You're in a 20 kilo atmosphere of food. How can you be hungry? Just open your mouth. Also remember he's doing this as a job, so, you know. Uh, well, if it's kept me entertained for this many hours, when I stream it seven or eight hours a night, I mean, Christ, I don't, I, of those 3,000 hours, I reckon 2,000 of those are streamed. Um, we've always managed to do a lot of different things. We've always managed to mix it up a little bit. Fuck, if you got 1,000 hours out of a 20 quid game, you're laughing. If you got 500 hours out of a 20 quid game, you're laughing. So... Yeah, it's worth it. I would definitely recommend it. Uh, what's this? Sand. Sand. Don't get me wrong, I do go through phases of loving and hating this game. I will no doubt go through a phase soon of wanting to play something else for a bit. But that's okay. We've got lots of new and interesting games coming out soon. I'm quite excited. I'm tempted by Borderlands. I don't know. And WoW Classic. I'm tempted by that as well. But I don't know yet. We'll have to see. We will have to see. Um, Alright. I'm sort of done up there for now. How's space getting on? Is that Leppy? It is Leppy. How you doing, Leppy? Long live ginger bollocks. <laughs> How you doing, mate? You sound like you're in a good mood. Dear God, not WoW Classic. I'm debating it. I'm going to play it single player, I reckon, and see what it's like. The only thing is, fucking 15 quid a month subscription or whatever. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Now there's a game that'll waste a lot of your money. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. It's most because Sindane's going to be playing nothing but, nothing but WoW Classic for a long time. I know it is. And if I ever want to see the poor bastard again, I'm going to have to join him. I know it. He knows it. We both knows it. We both knows it. Alright. I don't really want to block this off. These little nerds are dead to me. We're going to do some, some planting here and on here. We're going to do it on both sides. Why not? So let me get in here. I did a dig here ages ago to get done. So let's get that done. Let's mop this. Let's dig this. Mm -hmm. Definitely make me in a good mood. Titan's still sweat, but in a good mood. Good tips. Nice. Nice. Our classic would be absolutely awesome. Well, I was an old school WoW player, this is the thing. So I raided from uh, Vanilla to Wrath, then had a little break. I was a Guildmaster for a while, did hardcore raiding for a while. I like raiding. I do like WoW. Um, obviously, Vanilla is more like you've got to get into like a 40 man guild or something, but we'll see. Could be fun. How well it'll transition to stream, I don't know. I'm not a WoW streamer. It's not really what I built my channel on. Um, but we'll see. I'm not saying this is going to be like an overnight... Just you know, guys. We're now wild boys. I'm not saying that. But, you know. Wrath, Wrath was the last good expansion, in my opinion. Same here, mate. I would agree. Uh, Purple Cadillac, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Uh, tips I made my three days wages. Jesus. Nice. Natural Gas Boiler, have you done it? Any ideas? Speak, man, why are you so silent? Uh, natural Gas Boiler, I've not got one planned yet. I've got an idea of one, but um, you know what that is. And it, there's, there's a variation of my old one that will still work. Uh, it just needs a bit of tweaking. 
Um, Drastic, thank you very much for the follow, buddy. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, you can fix the other one, Leppy, just with a, a new turbine. It'll be alright. Oh, I don't know, it's a long time. I wouldn't recommend doing this with your life from personal experience. What's that? Doing what with your life? Wow. Oh, what? Tinkering with your old one as well. We're trying to increase the output. 10 kilograms and that gas seems low. 10, kilo 10 kilograms a second of natural gas. What? Ten kilograms. A hundred and eleven natural gas generators. Are you fucking high? You're crazy. You're crazy. Oops. Do you want more? More? Did you find a chlorine vent for gassy moose? I do have two. Two chlorine vents, I think. Or is it just the one? No, we've got two. We've got one that's still buried. I think it's this boy. So I've not dug them up, I can never remember. Uh, yeah, there's one chlorine vent. We'll save that as a five. Five is chlorine. And then I've got this fellow up here, but I've not been collecting the chlorine yet. I capped it and just left it. Um, I don't really want to do gassy moves because they take up space. I'm not sure. You want to double it, Jesus. Right, well, this was a bust. This did not work, so let's figure out how we're going to do this. Uh, I actually want to remove all this ladder and stuff up here. And they kind of have access over there, so I can sort of do that. So let's start tidying out this crap. And all of this crap. Mm, and this crap. As long as I've got room to build a tiley roof above this boy, I can put a ceiling in here, that's fine. Do you see my message about getting Gohan for meteor showers? And no. Uh, can you like chill and watch the movies while playing? Is it 100% concentrated all the time? Uh, when I'm streaming, it's different. If I'm streaming, then I'm half paying attention to the game, half watching Twitch chat. If I'm playing on my own, Definitely got some trash TV on this side. Definitely browsing some forums and on Discord on this side. Playing the game on this side. Super chill. Um, totally different experience from streaming. I play totally differently when I'm playing single player. Very, very different. Um, it's perfect for films, catching up on series. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, in Oni channel, I posted a pic. I don't remember. What, gold amalgam? Pick, 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 pick. Where am I looking? Badlands, the beam. Badlands is first. First of all, we start. So, this show have a nice power. Dun, dun. No gold on the map except the gold volcano. That's refined gold. Just finished causing that space. Now we just have 200 kilos of gold amalgam. Yeah, it comes from the meteors now, mate. It was patched. Obsidian must be too hard for pips. I think it is. I, I did suspect it was. I think obsidian and abyssalite are too hard. But oh well, it's fine. We'll do something over here. We'll make them some tiles and we'll figure something out. It'll be it'll be nice. Uh, one, two, three, four. It'll be nice. We'll make it nice. It'll be real nice. Twenty-one. Twenty-one, eh? Door. Oxyfern. I could plant them in blocks of six, but I don't really want to do that. I want to, like, spread them out a bit. Um. <laughs> How do you make flying suits? Says it needs petroleum. Yeah, you just pipe it in. Pipe it in with a pipe. There's a, a socket on the thing. That'll work. Mm -mm -mm. So 
So I'm just going to make sure this is how I want it to be before I unpause and they'll start building it like crazy. Um, blip, 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 blip. So I think we can space these what uh, like. I think we can space these like that. I know we can get like banks of six of them, but we're not going to need that many. I don't have that many oxyferns. If we put like five on each side, I'd be happy with that. <clears throat> Oni, how are you? Greetings, old bearded one. Sorry, I nearly missed that. How you doing? Um, mm -mm. I wonder if you could explain how you have infinite oxygen generated. If it's hydrolysis, how do you... How are you doing the water generation? Uh, Voidcaster, I've got a bit of a mix at the minute, mate. So... Wait, what the fuck am I doing here? I've got a bit of a mix at the minute. I've got... One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't have that many seeds. Give me one second. Oxfer, 18. Ah. Well, I've had that right up, haven't I? Um, bang. One second. I may need to leave some access under here for a minute. Let's cancel you. Alright, let's let them build that. Um, yeah, so I've got two different forms at the minute. I'm using the rusty oxidizers, which is because I'm in an arboreous start, so I've got rust uh, and salt. So that's what these are doing up here. So these are giving me some of my oxygen, which um, I'm cooling with a bit of radiant piping behind and pumping that into a storage, which is down here. And then I've got another build over here, which is just a standard electrolyzer build, where again, I'm cooling my oxygen at the bottom and pulling it into the base. Um, that all goes into here. So my water supply for the electrolyzers comes from uh, a cool steam vent, which I've got capped down at the bottom. That's giving me warm water, like 90 degree water. Uh, I'm also getting some uh, hot water coming from my steam turbines when they're active. Uh, that's going straight to the electrolyzers and all my hot water basically ends up dumped in here. So I've got shit loads of hot water in an overpressure tank. So that's how we're doing it basically. Basically, everything that we're using, we're using multiple times. So water is heated or cooled until it's at a right temperature for us. Um, you know, we're trying to get as much out of all of our materials as possible, basically. That is the plan. So if we've got cold water, we use it till it's hot, and then we, we boil it. If we've got, you know, hot water, we'll use that heat and then get rid of it. So... Look at this game, the RNG don't let me get water at this time. I had to waste many resources to get salt water. Like, okay, well, my stress level just went way too high. I gave up on it after you couldn't find water. Uh, to be honest, we had that for a long time. We didn't have any water supplies ourselves, uh, but there's always the option of using water sieves. I'm just filling my pipe up, guys. There's always the option of using water sieves and taking your dirty water. You know, even dirty toilet water, if you're collecting it and sieving it, it'll give you some excess water. And then you've got ice. You know, if you've got ice on your map, you can melt some ice, get your shitload of water that way. There's always options, guys. you just got to think creatively. Like, that's the thing with your random starts. Like, every map's going to be different. There are some maps you'll have loads of materials. Some maps you'll struggle for a bit. But you'll find your materials later in the game. That's just the nature of the beast. Don't get me wrong. Like, I've, I've done playthroughs of this game before where we struggled for water for, like, 600 cycles. And then as we've headed up to space or something, we found two water geysers on the way and... You know, tucked away in the corner of the map and things like that. It just happens. I usually put ice storage in my water tank, it will melt eventually. Yeah, yeah, you can do. Or you can do something like what I've done here and just store all your ice in one room and then eventually, one day, one day there will be many wetters. Got some aluminium in there. I would like to get that back. I can't get in here anymore. It's over, that aluminium stays. Yeah, I think I've got like maybe 200 tons of ice in here at the minute. Uh, snow, ice, 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 many ices. One day it will melt and it will be mine and I will take it. Uh, Ruiz, right, so here's the deal. We've got petroleum here at 175. Let's do the thing and let's do it quickly. I'm gonna do the thing real quickly. I'm going to put some pipe in through here. And 
damage. Uh, you bastard. It's gonna go like this. Ay, 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 ay. Small blood dupes equals best. Can you please explain making gas for power and what you do for power, please? Uh, King Block Runner, to be honest, my base isn't really the best example of power gen at the minute because I don't have any natural gas. So normally what I'd recommend is find your natural gas geyser. Now on my map, for some reason, I don't have a natural gas geyser. I've explored the entire asteroid now. I can basically see everything around here, apart from a little nubbins down here and a little nubbins over here um i don't have a natural gas geyser now normally natural gas especially since they've buffed their outputs gives you a lot of power natural gas power is good very strong so what i'm doing at the minute is living off coal wood and petrol power and a bit of manual manual dupe labor every now and again um supplementing that we've got some hydrogen power and supplementing that we've got some steam power um so a bit of everything really when we get to space we'll have um solar power so, a little bit of everything. I wouldn't say just go for one strap, because normally you're going to have materials that you want to use. You're going to have things that, you know, processes that will give you one material that you can use for another material and so on. Carbon dioxide is great for making oil. Oil is needed to make petroleum, you know, natural gas, and so on. So, let's just see how they're doing up here. Ah, uh, this is the problem. I need to do a little dig up here. I uh, wonder what I've got uh, that I can build out of that will troll them because I think hmm, let me just think for a second here what material do I not have very much of? Aluminium so what if I try to build a conductive wire out of aluminium hey -o! I don't have any aluminium, but I'm thinking they'll come and dig this. Let's see if that works. We'll dig all this crap and then we don't get cut blocked. <laughs> I'm new, all tips you play. Welcome, hey, no problem at all, King Block. No problem. There's no such thing as a new player here. No such thing. Just stick around, you'll pick all sorts up, mate. The chat is a wealth of information here. But well, thank you for the follow. Welcome. And again, I'd recommend it as well, guys. I know we keep sort of publicizing this, and I know it sounds like we're just trying to we're trying to lure you in. But here is the link to our Discord. There is a Discord channel just for Oni. Um, it's full of all sorts of information on there, you know, um, reacting to like patch notes and changes to the game and stuff. That's normally when it's most active. So if you're struggling at all, you can always jump on the Discord, post some images, and we can help you. Sell out! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> ah, shit. There we go. So they'll mine all this regolith now, which will stop me getting trolled. So because they can't build this wire, they're still going to try and build it. I don't have the aluminium for it, so they're not going to be able to build it yet. Um, but they're going to come and try and do the digging as if they were delivering the stuff. That means they'll get rid of this regolith whenever it backs up. Which is kind of handy. Rose, how are you? Oh, my pipe's leaking, son of a bitch. How are you this evening? And what time are you up till last night? I know it was a late one, because I was a sleepy boy. I was a sleepy boy when I left. Alright. What the fuck? Okay, that's kind of done for now. Um, <clears throat> I was going up till 5am. How are you doing? I'm alright. I'm not too bad. I didn't sleep very well this morning, though. I went to bed and then couldn't sleep for feckin' hours. It was the worst. Really bad. You know when you're, like, you're lying in bed and then you've made the bed warm because you've been lying there for so long, not being able to chill, and... Ugh, it was horrible. I ended up listening to a three-hour podcast. A three-hour podcast? I was meant to only be, like, listening for, like, 20 minutes and hope that I'd fall asleep. I listened to the end, like, fuck. Now I know it's late. 
Um, I just discovered you discovered a Factorio thing. That's my favourite game of all time. Got 1,500 hours in it. Oh, yeah, we played a bit of Factorio on stream. Um, I am a bit of a Factorio noob, but we did play a bit of it. We did a couple of playthroughs that were probably on YouTube, if you want to have a look on there, Undermined. We did do a few playthroughs. We did a boat base that I loved. Trains and boats. It was incredible. Uh, right, here's the deal. So, I'm going to run some petroleum through here. We're going to need to cancel some of these pipes afterwards, but that's okay. I'll just do that. Uh, like so. Uh, no, 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 no. Steady now. And then we'll do the old dropper thing again. Um, we'll just go boop, 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 boop. Okay. And then, yeah, we'll be bridging off this petroleum, basically trying to steal some of this sweet petroleum. Which should be good. So we'd have a bridge there. And a bridge there. The reason I moved this down a little bit is because otherwise if I bridged on top of this tile, it wouldn't generate any heat. It would basically just uh, skip the tile. Must have been an interesting podcast. Not really. <laughs> it wasn't that good. Just I couldn't switch off. Uh, I found a gold volcano. What do I do? Uh, if you're not confident, for now, just leave it sealed up. Unless you've dug it out, just leave it sealed up. If you have dug it out, Godspeed. Um, no, if you have dug it out, what you can do is... Um, just seal it up with a double layer of insulated tiles for now. Probably be fine. I'm going to cancel these. It's probably easy just to do with compactors. Um, or flood it. Flood it with loads of wetter until it can't output anymore. But if you're feeling confident, you could turn it into a power source and get your gold from it. Alright then. So we just want uh, 25 kilos, no, 50 kilos of agriculture fertilizer. Nine. Copy. Alright. Get all that shit delivered. Do a little sweep first. How'd you make it into power source? Uh, put some water in there and slap a steam turbine on top of it. And it'll pretty much regulate itself. The only thing you'll need to do is keep your, keep your turbine cool. Uh, which you can normally do by covering a couple of the ports up. But that's part of the learning, Stine. That's part of the learning. You need to get in there. Give it a go. <clears throat> oh, God. I was meaning to put a video together, by the way. Um, I did put a video on YouTube today, for those of you that are wondering, uh, or those of you that might have seen it. There is a Paku video that I did today, just because I was messing about with this last night, and at one in the morning I thought, eh, I'll put it on YouTube. So I did. So this Paku farm that we're doing, I did actually put on YouTube this morning. Um, I have been meaning to put up a video about the gold volcanoes, and I might do a video when we get our gold and iron volcanoes capped up here. I think that might be a nice little video for two volcanoes, one turbine kind of deal. Um, two girls, one cup? No. Two volcanoes, one turbine. Um, I think that could be a fun little build. So maybe that'll be a video I'll put up. But it'll be the same principle, you know. All right, so we just need to get the fertilizer delivered down here. We'll rip these tiles out. We'll rip these compactors out. How did you zoom out and see the map? Uh, if you press Alt S, you can go into screenshot mode. Now, I also have a mod on here that gives me extended uh, extended range. Uh, I don't know if I can see it from here. I've got a couple of mods installed that give me um, bigger range. Uh, can I see like subscribed items? Uh, most recent, most popular. Where do I see my subscribed shit? Uh, most subscribed. Where's my subscribed? Subscribed items. There we go. Um, so I've got planned buildings without materials, which is what you saw we just did in space. Uh, blueprints, which is something we've got at the bottom of the screen that might be hidden behind my big old body. 
Uh, geyser calculated average output, which is really handy for just telling you, once you've analysed your geyser, what the average is going to be. Uh, deconstructible POI props, so the points of interest on the map, the um, ruins, we can deconstruct them, because I hate them. And bigger camera zoom out, that's the one that lets me zoom all the way out. So I only have a few few mods on here. They're mostly just to stop me from being grumpy later when we get cop blocked by a POI or something. But that is why. Right then, these have all been filled. Let's get this removed. Blip. Oh. Um, we could also get the rest of this built, I suppose. Get some pips in here and get the doors in and all the other sh shenanigans that we have to do. Uh, build it with mesh tiles. Nice. Uh, that's never good. Banyan! What happened here? Are you getting struck by meteors? You are. Get down from there. It's not safe. Alright. So yeah, this is one of the bonuses of the building without materials thing. Otherwise, what I'd have had to do is basically hide all of one of my materials somewhere and start a building, which we've done in the past. It does work, but it's a bit of a faff. And somebody suggested this mod to me. I think it was Nakamaru, or whatever his name is. He suggested it last night on the forums, and it's pretty solid. It's a good little mod. Right. So, now that that's done, I'd quite like to sweep out all this igneous. Uh, as annoying as it is, it doesn't really matter, but I'd like to get rid of it because it's extra heat otherwise. Uh, igneous, go, go, go. And splip. Very good. Uh, let's get you ripped out as well. And get you in as well. Right. So once that's all been swept, we can seal up these tiles. I mean, they might have actually used the igneous that was here, but hey ho. Now then, before I do this, is there anything behind here that I'm going to want ever again? Like this here wire. This wire is here forever. That's that's it for this wire. Uh, gas piping? No. Uh, conveyor lines? Yes. But we can get to that, so that's fine. Okay. Oh shit, no, I need some fuel in here first, don't I? I need some petroleum. Um, that needs to wait for a second. Um, we'll need to dump a bit more up here, I think. This is where it becomes a bit of a pain in the ass. So you have access to 64. Let's just bang you and get a bit more petroleum out of here. Oh. Uh, got a big question for you. Proximity mode, yes or no? I'm not using it. I'm not using it at all. It didn't seem to make any difference for me. If anything, it was worse. Uh, and I don't trust it. I don't trust it at all! So yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. It depends. Depends if you've got like a small base only a couple of dupes. I've got a big base with many dupes, so... Um... My problem is more the ponder lag that I'm getting at the minute, which is where they can't quite decide what job they want to do, and it wasn't helping me for that, so I just didn't bother. All right, that's a reasonable enough amount of petroleum. Let's get that done. Uh, below zero. There we go. Uh, now I only want to drop a little bit in. This is going to be really annoying. It's going to be really annoying, but bear with me. Because I can't think of a nicer way of doing this. Other than putting a vent down, but then I can't really control how much liquid goes in each one. I could have run through some through a pipe, I guess. Oh, maybe that would be a nice way of doing it. Hmm, 
hum, 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 hum. I'll do that. That'll give us like 10 kilo in each one. Probably a little bit more than I want, but that'll do. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll get a bridge and we'll bridge to there. And then we'll bridge off here. Uh, what is this build? This is the launch build, Demos. So it's... Uh, oh, as in this build here, what am I doing? I'm making some wild tiles so I can plant some oxyferns near my petroleum generators. So I've got some petroleum gens down here, but my CO2 levels are getting a bit wild. They're starting to <laughs> very much creep into the base. And rather than put down some carbon skimmers, I was just going to plant some wild tiles and do it with some oxyferns. We're waiting on our space biome being capped <clears throat> at the minute. So whilst I'm waiting on that, we're just doing some other bits and bobs. What mods do you play with? I literally just went through the mods a second ago, Crane. I just went through them. Uh, we've got like bigger zoom, destructible POIs, build without materials, uh, which lets you place things even when you've run out of the material, like place a blueprint. Uh, blueprints is another mod. We've got like five in total. Destructible POIs, bigger zoom. Can't remember the other. Can't remember. Right then. So we now have some petroleum sat here. Now it's going to try and do the backwards packet thing, but I'm thinking if I nip off this wire, uh, this this pipe, 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 but not the bridge. This pipe, but not the bridge, and this pipe. That should give me petroleum in all these tiles. In theory. Hopefully. Oh, I don't want to deal with it all. I just want to deal with some of it. I like the idea of just some wild crops just chilling down there. The only thing is it's probably going to be the totally wrong temperature for them, but... Oh, well. Anywho. Right then. So, that's fine. You can now be connected back up. Uh, again, we need to sweep all the crap out of here. Um, uh, Stestiffy, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. I took a run at it, alright? Welcome, 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 welcome. Alright, nobody pick up this fertilizer. Leave it where it is. This is very important. The fertilizer is very, very crucial for this operation. <clears throat> That's a sword. I only just read what you said, sword. God damn it. Yeah, that'd be nice. If they use this igneous to actually do this, that'd be nice. And then we can start sealing some of these up. Yeah, we can seal all these now, actually. I think they'll sweep this stuff. Principles in a second. Very good. Some free copper. I'll take it. Uh, right, now we're kind of relying on the... On the petrol gens running at the minute. Which I'm sure will be fine. I don't even know if I need to seal these, honestly. But we'll do it. So now I'm basically just completing the loop here. Um, this isn't this isn't the smartest way of doing this, but it's the way that I am doing it. So <laughs> that's, that's what we're doing. So we basically got you know 10 kilos in each tile. We're going to lose what 90 kilos of petroleum doing this, but it should be nice. Um, we'll also get our critter drop-off point in there. Maybe those old critters may just be able to do this before they die. That would be handy. Uh, Pips, how will die? Show me. Show me your age. 88. Yeah, that'd be good. <clears throat> Why can't I dig level stuff? I'm max level, but it's red, and digger won't finish the dig. Uh, max level. When you say max level, are you sure you've got, like, this? Oh, is it red? Is it this stuff? Is it neutronium? Uh, 
Is it this stuff? Neutronium can't be dug by by the manliest of men. They cannot dig it. If it's red, it's probably neutronium. Okay. If it's neutronium on its own and it's like a four tile piece like this, there's a geyser above it. So be careful. Be very careful. Very spooky. Alright. Okay, come on, finish this pipe. And then, yeah, it's just a case of getting this this um, ah, petroleum heated up. Get the fertilizer heated up. Job done. Uh, careful, guys, are the reason I play the game. Yeah, I know, but um, King Block is a new player. So you don't want him to open an iron, guys, right inside his base or something, do you? Come on. What are we here, savages? I don't think so. I don't think so. Lots of ferns, you go. And you. There we go. Let's toggle you off. Get these boys uh, wrangled. There's no lag on wrangling. But on... See the pip go? Ah, both there. There's no lag on wrangling, but there is lag on uh, harvest like fucking crazy. Sucks. Okay, so we're getting there. So yeah, what I'm basically doing here is I'm running... For those of you that missed earlier when we did this at the start of the stream, I'm running hot petroleum that's coming from my refineries through a radiant piece of tile. Just a single piece of radiant tile, if you look. This is insulated. This is radiant. Uh, the beauty of that is that it lets me uh, basically heat up this tiny packet of oil I've got in here, or petroleum. I would have liked this to have been smaller, but I was being lazy and just knocked some pipe out instead. Um, but basically what's going to happen is when this fertilizer gets to 125 degrees, it'll turn into a solid dirt tile. It's going to melt like it has over here. And there we go. I just need our petroleum to get used now, but that's basically what we're doing. So we're creating dirt tiles. The reason for that is I want to plant some crops, some plants down here. Um... So that's what we're doing. There we go. <laughs> Any tips for new players? Uh, Random crop. Build everything. Try everything. If you fail, remember what went wrong. Try not to do it again. That's the best tips I can give you. I don't want to ruin your, your gaming experience by just giving you like the super easiest builds there are. There's many forum threads where you can get that shit. Um, but yeah, just get into the game. Just enjoy it, mate. Enjoy your experience. Build everything. Die. Learn from your mistakes. Profit. That's, that's as far as it goes. Be a brave boy. You'll be okay. If you're a girl, be a brave boy. That's how it works. Right then, we'll just empty this pipe because it's going to be warm as dicks down here. And we can get rid of this tile, but they're not going to be happy about it. It's going to be a wee bit hot. A wee bit toasty warm, I think. Come on. Look at the little leapy boys. There we go. They're so leapy. All right, let's get rid of this one. Uh, Dark Corin, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Got a lot of follows tonight, guys. A lot of new people here. Welcome, all of you. Any of you got any questions? Any of you that want to ask anything, or if you've seen something in the build that you don't really understand what it's doing, ask. Don't just sit there and, you know, be trying to figure it out. Like, just ask. I'm a friendly boy. I promise. Okay, let's get rid of this. This is now done. How good is Quick Learner? Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, especially if they're going to be something like... Science generally helps you with all sorts of stuff, so... It's quite a nice one to get. <laughs> Hi, friendly boy. <laughs> Perkins, how are you, mate? I am, I'm a friendly boy. Despite what everyone says about me. Uh, right, that's now good. We can get rid of that piping. I'm not even going to cool this off down here. It's already in a relatively cool area-ish. So we'll just let this heat do its thing. They'll figure it out. The idea is to get to space before it falls apart. So We're doing space! Oh, Grim. Grim, you cut me deep. We're doing space. Hold on, let's go check what they're doing in space. 
I'm saying that. Maybe I've got somebody stuck up here. Uh, no, we're getting there. We're getting there. We just need to expand this a bit more. Uh, we'll copy this. Make sure this is getting done. There we go. We're getting there. We're, we're bunkering. We're like, what, a third of the way there, maybe? Quarter of the way there? Third of the way there? We'll do we'll do a steam build before the night's out, I promise you. No problem. Um, your natural, final natural gas boiler build on YouTube was one kilogram. Yeah. I thought you just made a monster. Yeah, it's only one kilo. The little, the sour gas boy, or the boom box, they were both about one kilo. I think the boom box was 0 0.9. The little sour gas boy was, um... Just over one, one point two or something. I think it could handle. What's the best way to tackle germs early? Uh, depends which germs. Uh, depends which germs. Slime lung, you can just cool down. Slime lung dies off really easily when it's below ten degrees, uh, which is pretty handy. I thought you'd already plant. Oh wait, are these stifling and uprooting? Wait, 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 wait. What the hell happened there? Why did that plant? Uproot. Is it just too hot here? It is pretty warm. It wants to be 40 degrees. <laughs> ah, shit. Alright, we'll fix him. Um, yeah, if it's slime lung, then it's quite easy to get rid of just with lower, lower temperature, basically. If it's um, food poisoning, you generally need to heat that up or cool it. Um, but if you, depend on what you what it's in, you're going to struggle to cool it. So generally you need to boil it, warm it up. Now, how do you like to cool your oil for making refined metals, if that is what you use? Uh, I'm not really cooling the oil. Um, so basically my oil's coming from my oil tank up here, where we've gathered up all of our oil. Uh, that's coming into the refineries, and because I'm lazy, I'm just passing it, uh, I'm just passing it straight through. So it comes into these little reservoirs up here goes into my refineries and passes straight through. So, I'm not doing any sort of smart um, loops or anything at the minute. We are very low on coal, Jesus. Um, in the past we have used loops, but I was doing it the other day on stream and it was pissing me off, so I just did it straight through. It was annoying me. I've not really figured out a nice build at the minute. Your oil is like 180, so stuff be overheating. Um, your only option then is try and bang it through an aqua tuner, but then you've got to cool your aqua tuner. XC, how's it going, bud? Um, the sour gas. I said I did three sour gas builds on YouTube, Leppy. There was three. There was the sour gas tard, the boom box, and the little sour gas boy. <laughs> so I did three of them. The sour gas tard was ridiculous, and then I made small builds that were really, really compact and. Functional. Oh. Mm, do another build then. Another sour gas build. I can do it. I mean, it's going to be different now anyway with the turbines. I wonder if this can't be planted here. This might be too close. Oh no, there we go. Here we go. Good little boy. Uh, do you have some air storage? I saw a blueprint with four doors. Air storage, Murdoch? Air storage. Um, my gas is stored in here. Uh, my oxygen is stored in here. It's a high pressure tank. So I've got like 1.4 tonnes of oxygen per tile in here. Hydrogen, 262 kilos per tile. That's where I'm storing all my oxygen. Why aren't you deconstructing so all the dirt is exposed? Instead you're doing it one at a time. Because if I do it all at once, they won't plant them all. So I've got to do it systematically, um, so they plant them in the in this space, basically. It's not because you're lazy; it's because you don't know how to do it. What's that sorted? The refinery. Well, no, it is lazy because if I sat down and figured it out, I'd know how to do it. I just can't be asked. <laughs> uh, you mean gas? Gas. That was that was a gas storage. That was that was oxygen storage. These are overpressurized tanks, so um, these these are basically vents with a little bit of liquid in front of them, so that the oxygen that's being piped in here doesn't overpressurize. Oh, you're going to exosuit, um, which means that I can store infinite amounts of gas in here. So you just put a tiny bit of liquid in front of your vent, 
Uh, so if you look, we've got like 500 grams, 1.6 kilos, you know, and it just sort of ping pongs around depending on which vents in use. So that way we've got like a ton and a half of oxygen stored. So that's what you meant. I hope these don't uproot if they get too hot. I hope they just stifle and wait. Because it might be, might be cooler down here one day. One day. Uh, I've got a video on my YouTube, Murdoch. If you type uh, Oni Tips, uh, exclamation point Oni Tips, it'll take you to a link with a um, loads of different tips and tricks videos. Uh, one of which is about how to overpressurize gas vents and liquid vents. So it'll all be on there for you, mate. It only works until they patch it, though. It's been in the game for like two years now, but one day it might get patched. One day. So, one more. Oh, yeah, they are uprooting. That makes me sad. I was worried that might happen. Uh, what can I do to quickly cool this down? 30 degree polluted water. Check. Check. Uh, even with lead, that'd be fine, honestly. Um, plumbing. Uh, it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm not even going to interrupt with the pipe. I'm just going to do that. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Like, first, it seems like one of those unfixable things. I know, but I've got, I've got to say that. It may well. Full disclosure, it may be fixed one day. Should have been fixed a long time ago. But, uh, I just want to see if they'll plant this one. If, if not, I'll rip this one out. I want to make sure this is right, you know. I don't want any more of these bastards to uproot either. Let's get this cooled before anything else stifles. Why is this water not moving? Oh, wait, this is a feed. Okay. Oh, we could do this a bit easier. Uh, let's cancel you. We could do this a little bit easier. And it won't really matter either. We can just let it run for a bit then. Uh, so... Yeah, just bridge into there. So you can just run through there, then to there, and bridge into there. Perfect. And uproot this boy because I don't think he's going to plant it. <clears throat> they can fix it if they wanted to invest the time, but fixing it would probably piss more people off than please people so they'll be spending money for a negative effect. Uh, I think it would realistically rely on a lot of changes to happen with vents and stuff. So let's let's say currently a vent is only meant to work as long as it's not overpressurized. Okay. This this is why overpressure tanks work. Alright, so look. Uh, here is an vent. Alright. And here is an liquid vent. Now the idea is that once these vents are overpressurized, as in they have a full tile of the gas that they are pushing through them a full tile of that element in front of it, it shouldn't work anymore, right? So that's why the vents that are in our base, our normal gas vents, are overpressurized, because they've got oxygen in front of them, right? The reason this works is because the game only allows one element per tile. If they were to change the way that vents work, they would need to have the vent check constantly what element is in front of it, constantly, right? which would be way too much of an impact on the game, I reckon. The other thing that they would have to do is consider whether they want to allow more than one element per tile. I don't think they'll ever get round to that. Personally, I don't. Um, because that's the only way to fix it. Um, make it so that you can have more than one element in a tile space. It's the only way. Please don't plant this straight away. So yeah, it's it's going to take a lot of faffing about. Mick, how you doing, buddy? It's still a lot of CO2. Yeah, it's intentional, though, man. I've wa I want a lot of CO2, don't worry. Ah, oh, well, that's not helpful. Plant this. Come on. 
Planting is good. Yeah, lead might not have been the best choice, but it should be okay. There we go. Good boy. Very good boy. Let's get that gone. Of all the tiles in all the room, you had to choose this one. You jerk. There we go. Now plant that seed. Eat the seed. Come on. You can do it. Let's just check how we're looking in space. Um, I'm hoping we're still cracking on up here. We are. That is good. Uh, so... We could now, in theory, start digging out all this stuff a bit more aggressively as well. Um, we could literally just take like this top layer off. That'll do it. Change that to priority eight, actually. Just so I make sure that the uh, bunker door is still getting done with highest priority. But we're going to find a lot of stuff up there. I'm also going to get a load of regolith, which I think I'm probably going to start feeding to my shovels soon. Which will be nice. And I don't want these vents to be built. Right then. Are you a plant yet? No. Why is that wire above the bunker doors? Uh, it stops them from getting stuck with the regolith. So the idea is that because there's a blueprint there, they're going to keep trying to clear the debris that's in front of the blueprint so that they can build it. Um, but they don't have the materials to actually build it, Shane. That's the beauty of it. So I don't have any refined aluminium at the minute, but I've built the wire out of aluminium. So they're going to keep going up there and clearing the regolith for now. So... Uh, Station is handles complex multi-element interactive. Don't smoke near oxy hydrogen mix atmosphere. So I've no idea whether it could translate into one. It all depends on the engine. That's the thing. This is a, a Unity engine, so all depends. Ah, ah, a little pip. Hooray! All right, let's get this last one in. He literally does one little gulp of air and then stifles. Not to forty. Oh. So let's see, these are actually outputting, they're using 156 milligrams and outputting 7.8 grams. But that's constant, don't forget. That is constant. So if we've got like nine of these on each side, that'd be, that'd be all right. I'd take that. So nine times, how much was it? 156? Wait, it was more than that before. Wait, so it's taking... Wait... Wait, hold on a minute. Did I read that right? 125 milligrams to 6 grams. 156 milligrams. Wait, that's a massive bonus! A gram is a thousand milligrams, isn't it? So, 156 milligrams, and it's given us 7.8 grams. That's not bad! We're gonna get like 100 grams, maybe. 90 grams. Ah, 80 grams. For pretty much free. And we'll just leave them there, happy. Uh, to be honest, couldn't they just check on vents if they can push away the wrong gas in that tile? If they can't, it's blocked. <sighs> the only problem is then, you run the risk of a vent being blocked just because it's got like 50 grams of hydrogen in front of it. Because that's the thing. Different. The, the other thing you have to remember, guys, not all tile spaces are the same pressure. All right. So not all gases want to be at the same pressure when they are like a natural packet. So it's the same as water. Water wants to be 1,000 kilos. Hydrogen wants to be 200 250 kilos. Oxygen wants to be 500 kilos. So because you have these different weights of what a packet wants to be, they'd have to add so many checks to, um, you know, so many checks to the vents that'd be a nightmare. It's essentially a reverse tube. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I hadn't realised. I'd only banged a few of these in the base at the start, if you remember. And then we didn't really use them again. I could do this water fecking off. 
We've got too much polluted water coming in. We have too much water. And is this boy active now? He is. God damn it. This one's active as well now. Just so much polluted water. I don't think we can move it all through one pipe anymore. It's just way too much. Like this boy's... Oh, this boy's dormant now. Are you dormant soon? Yeah, this one's dormant as well. Okay. So we're still filling that polluted water pipe just with the petroleum gens. <laughs> just with the petroleum gens and that guy's at the bottom. Okay. I'd just like this water to be able to move. I'm still worried about running out of water. I'd be more worried about running out of sand. Jesus. Right. Okay. What other funky little builds should we do? What would be a nice thing to do? I did have a list the other day of things that I was going to play with. We could do an ethanol distiller build. We've done a Paku farm. Shinebug farm? I think that as laggy as it's getting now, I don't think I want to do it. Crab farm. Crab ranch. Alright, well I'm going to blow your tiny minds. Are you ready to have your tiny minds blown? Uh... I'm going to blow the tiny mines. I'm going to drop this down two tiles. Prepare your anuses. It's happening. You want a crab ranch? You're getting a fucking crab ranch, alright? How'd you like them apples? Alright, uh, let's go through. Let's do that. <clears throat> Remember, you also promised we'd launch a rocket this stream. I will launch a rocket this stream. It's 2010. I will launch a rocket this stream. Don't panic. Don't fret. I've got it. It's under control. It's all in hand. I'm a pro. I know what I'm doing. We got this shit. It's fine. No panic. I'm not panicking. Are you panicking? Stop panicking. We got this. Emblep. About bloody time. It's only cycle 800. I don't have any polluted dirt from yet, don't forget. Uh, where are you storing all your materials? Right. Yeah. <laughs> this tile here, pretty much. I've got two droppers above, two dispensers, and I just dump everything here. And then I've got sweeper arms that root it to where it needs to be. So, you know, I've got a salt line, a rust line, a coal line, a wood line, um, an algae line, a granite line to feed our hatches, whatever the hell this one was. Phosphorite. Oh, that was all gone in here now. Yeah, that's this is my storage room. This is everything. Um, use the blueprint. That's what I'm gonna do. Give him a Mordi on it, mate. Mordi on it. Don't worry, I got it. I got it. Uh, what I wanted to do is get rid of these ladders. That's why I built this first bit here, and then just didn't get rid of them. Don't use that 700 kilos of lettuce you lost, you fucking asshole. Why? Why must you remind me? It wasn't my fault, it was a clay bug. Oh, uh, to supply farm tiles with fertilizer, the sweepers need to cover the plant or the tile itself. The tile itself. The tile that the uh, plant is in. You boys is stuck. You boys is very stuck. Right then, so we'll use the old blueprint tool. We'll go new blueprint and we'll copy to there. Let's see how well this works. I think I might have shit in the way. That's not bad. Let's just wait till they've got rid of some of the stuff. Uh, I'm gonna have to drip this, drop this water down somewhere. Uh, like right down here. Uh, don't think after using your blueprint, you lose your priority on your dig, which is kind of weird. Uh, let's see how. Let's just get in. Wait, they've not been able to get across here forever. When did that happen? Um, okay. Perfect. Ish. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
There we go. Oh, beastie boy is still stuck up there. All right, let's get him out. I feel bad. Out you pop. All right, blueprint mode. And go. So the only thing we're missing is a vent. I can deal with that. Now, the other thing we're going to need is a little bit of water for where our polluted dirt is going to come in. So it's going to be slightly different, this. So, whereas normally we would have had a receptacle, we're not going to have a receptacle. We're going to have... We're going to cancel this sweeper and this automation wire and this sweeper and this automation wire. Cancel. And we're going to raise up a tile. And the reason for that is we're going to be dropping in poop. And because we're going to be dropping in poop, we don't want it to off-gas. And to stop it from off-gassing, we will drop it into some lovely plastic tiles. Because why not? Uh, what the fuck? Why can't I get rid of buildings? I'm deconstructing. Get that. Cancel buildings. LA whip. And then we'll have a little bit of plastic, like so. And again, we won't need the receptacle. It will go to... It'll go to a drop-off instead. All right. <clears throat> like I spell out, what? Let's try that mod. Yeah, it's good, Grim. It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Uh, can you braid your beard like a viking? Well. Mm -mm. Nice grim. Uh, I probably could braid it like a viking. Um, I'm planning to go a bit viking-esque with my old hairdo in the next few days. I was meant to go to the hairdressers. <laughs> Barbers. <laughs> Steady. Uh, yesterday. And uh, just didn't get around to it. But we will... Uh, I'll get around to it tomorrow or something. Or one of the days. Alright, anuses prepared. Priority 8. Get her done. Somebody made a mess. Why did this happen? Was it because you were stuck in space? You're going to wet when you come home, aren't you? Uh, which means I'm going to need to put in the old piss lips. Which is actually a thing, before anyone shouts at me. It's a lip to stop the piss. We fit them at the bottom, but we didn't fit them at the top. That's fine. Uh, Regulus three high. Yeah, they should be able to get rid of it, though. He's just being a jerk. He's probably been stuck up there mining an entire asteroid or something. Um, they'll mine it automatically. There's a lot of regolith up there, but it's fine. Go. It's got to be like halfway there now. Yeah. Nice. So, anything else needs to change in here? I don't think so. I think it's a pretty straightforward build, this. The one thing I will need to do is drip in some wetter. But that's fine. We probably could have used some of this that was fecking there. Oh well. Just for now, and um, we'll finish digging this crap out as well. So dig with a, uh, we'll dig this level out so they can build the floor a bit easier. And we'll just get all this stuff done. And I can drop the water in and start getting our crabs. We have been, we have been collecting crab eggs, but what I'll basically, excuse me, do now is start ranching them over to the other side. I don't know if we'll wrangle them or just move the eggs, but. As you can see, we already have a few eggs just chilling on the floor at the minute. Um, polluted dirt, though. I'm not getting much polluted dirt. Where would I get polluted dirt from at the moment? 
address the very Viking sound. That's what I mean. As soon as I said it, I was like, yeah. Uh, it's like a death ledge if anyone wanders into the horde of angry craps. Yes, that is the point. We were going to kill our, we were going to kill our hatches up here, weren't we? But the crabs were taking too much damage. Uh, speaking of, are you starting to work yet? Still too warm. There's just too much water here. Oh, this was backed up, that's why. That's alright. I think we are going to need another pump, ultimately, or another another pipe, ultimately, for some of the excess or some reservoirs or something. Because there's just too much polluted water making its way down that pipe when everything's active. Pack and make a tiny bit of polluted dirt. Uh, not if you keep them starving. They don't, actually. So, that's one of the things... Where's my pack who's gone? Anyone? Anyone know? Pakus? Hello? That's not good. No, they're not cooked. They're nice and cool. Look, I told you, it's all going to be 20 degrees around here because of the Pakus. Uh, no, they can't have died. They can't have died because they get enough food to reset every day. And if one of them had died, the other one would have been doubly fed. Well, that's a bit of a pain in the dick. Critter egg. Fry egg. Bastard. Maybe the two were synced up and died at the same time. Well, you think... You think they would have eaten? You think one of them would have ate? If one of them died, then there's there's no longer a sink, is there? You think one of them would have fucking eaten? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't really want them to pick this algae up. Should I turn this off now? Is this one for algae? Yeah, let's turn you off. That's weird. I I ran this build for like three hundred cycles in debug, and it was absolutely fine. Not sure if it's maybe because this is a much laggier base and the fishies and critters are doing weird things. So I do know that we get like critter freeze in here and there. Uh, how big are the food traps now? Can I do this in a single tile? Perfect! Um, did the crabs eat them? I call for revenge. <laughs> Had that problem you might recall. What was that, Gorus? Uh, the cat of dance the game happens to have ev uh, have even one single dog, which surely is impossible. I just screwed up, which is highly unlikely. Perpetual, what happened to Nice Perpetual? Did the critter sense go retard mode and let all the eggs be delivered away? Shouldn't have done. 